What's up guys, Justin here with the CGessentials.com. So in today's video, I'm actually rolling out a new kind of video. So I've really actually been struggling to keep up with all the updates of all the different add-ons and other things that are going on inside of Blender right now. So I'm gonna try a new style of video where I talk about some of the different add-ons that were updated or came out with new versions at the end of every week. These might be free, they might be paid. This week, for example, the Blender summer sale is going on. So they're gonna be a little more skewed towards the paid, but there's gonna be a little bit of back and forth. That's just going to give me a good place where I can help you keep up to date on some of the developments that are happening without having to make a bunch of individual videos. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this format style of video. And then if there's something that everybody's really interested in, I can dive a little bit more deep based on the response to this video. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right. So first off, like I mentioned before, um, the Blender Market annual summer sales going on. So that means that a bunch of different models and textures and rigs and add-ons are all on sale for 25% off. So you can check that out at the cgessentials.com slash summer sale. So if there's anything that you've been interested in, most of the most popular add-ons for Blender are currently on sale right now. So this might be a good time to pick up something that you have been interested in. So like I said, a lot of the stuff we're going to talk about this week are going to be focused on that sale. But in the future, there's also going to be free add-ons and other things like that. All right, so first off, we've got RBD Lab. So a lot of you might be familiar with RBD Lab. It's basically the tool for using physics to create different destruction animations and other things like that. Um, RBD Lab has been um, in development for a while, and they're pretty consistent about rolling out updates. Well, recently they've come out with a new update, version 1.3, that has a number of different features in here. And so a lot of these particular changes inside of RBD Lab seem to be more focused on the way that things are like grouped together. So you've got like multi-group collections in here, um, as well as different like clustering type things that allow you to have a little bit more control over where things break inside of the add-on. And so there's a number of other things that they've improved. So they're saying their performance and there's performance improvements. I haven't had a chance to test that, but they've also got a bunch of things having to do with like uh, adjacent constraints, but then also like adding initial velocities to the way that things like move. So um, again, I haven't had a chance to test any of these, but RBD lab is really great for doing that initial setup in um, any kind of destruction animation in Blender. So if you're looking for something that's going to help you animate things breaking, RBD lab could be a good fit. All right, so CamFX is a tool designed to help you add the uh, bokas or the uh, the uh, little imperfections to your cameras. So it's basically designed to help you with uh, your camera focus. So it's going to add those little imperfections that you might get if you're taking this with a real camera. So notice the little like circles in the background, other things like that. So um, it's a brand new add-on from the guys over at B Production, and it's specifically designed to help you create these more like stylized renders with these kind of things. So not only does it give you the ability to add these different bokeh images, it also gives you the ability to um, add lens dirt and imperfections. So you can simulate like dirt and dust and other things like that as well. So um, definitely worth giving giving it a look. So I highly recommend you watch their CamFX tutorial video because this is a camera add-on, right? It has a lot to do with like focus and other things like that. This add-on is really going to give you instructions on exactly how everything's supposed to work so that you can get the results that you're looking for. So you're really going to want to go through this and not try to just guess with the settings because this is going to be really important. So this is going to walk you through not only setting up the camera bokeh, as, but it's also going to walk you through how to use like the lens dirt effects as well later on. So it's definitely worth giving a look um, to make sure you understand how everything works if you do pick up this add-on. All right, so next up, we've got the ultimate clay shader or clay dough. I suspected this one was going to be a lot of fun and it actually really is. So it's basically a procedural shader that allows you to simulate things like clay, right? So um, there, there's some interesting videos you can watch about this, but basically it comes with these 13 presets um, that are also adjustable as well. Let's say I was to open this up, for example. And so basically the way this works is you can see how it's a shader that makes everything look like clay. So if I was to jump back into solid mode, for example, you can see how this is a simple sphere and a simple uh, monkey. But if we go into material preview, you can see how it's actually applying this great material to this. So, and then we can adjust things like the texture scale in here, as well as um, things like the roughness, which adjust like how, um, how damp or not damp this looks 
and you can adjust things like your ambient occlusion, no problem. So you can adjust that. The colors are 100% adjustable like this as well. And the clay look is just fantastic. It looks really good. So it also comes with a bunch of different material presets in here. Like you've got wet clay, you've got mixed dough. These are all things that are preset to look a certain way. So um, you can take a look at like this drought soil is really interesting, for example. And all of these can get loaded into your asset browser, which I've done. But then it's really easy to just drop them on different objects and then adjust them. So again, you can do this just by clicking in here and then going into the shader editor and all of these adjustments are really easy to make. So we can come in here and we can adjust things like the roughness, like that texture scale, and it's gonna apply them in here. You can also randomize your seed to get different clay materials. So I actually took this and I applied it to my Bonnie model. And again, you can come in here and you can make that adjustment, but then when you rent out, that clay looks really interesting. So um, it gives me a really great look. That do a whole lot of extra work um, in order to get this clay look. So one of the really cool thing that it does is it also comes with a tool for um, creating clay text. Um, and you can bring in clay text. It also works for um, vector images, so like SVG, like this. Um, but like for example, if I wanted to add my own text in here, like I could do the CG essentials, and it's actually gonna draw using really any text that you want. But then this is also still adjustable too. So for example, I can adjust things like the size of the text, as well as things like your character spacing, just like this, and then you can move them around. Y you can move them around and treat them as geometry. Notice how this is set up with geometry nodes, so you don't have to worry about ever like losing these different features. There's a bunch of things you can adjust in here. So super interesting tool. I love all the different things you can do with it. And honestly, it's pretty easy to use and apply. So um, I may do some more with this in the future, but it is a lot of fun. All right, so I do wanna highlight Bagapai again. So Bagapai um, has a free modifier that is absolutely fantastic. Um, we've talked about it on the channel before. Um, it just got updated, um, but it's got a ton of different like parametric presets and other tools. If you don't have Bagapai, there is no reason why you shouldn't have it. Um, it comes with all these different scattering tools, architectural presets, so things like creating stairs and railings and beams, different array types. Um, it's one of the deepest free add-ons that I've seen. So you should definitely download the Bagapai Bagapai modifier, the free version. If you want some great assets as well, he does have an assets group that's on sale as a part of the Blender Market sale, which I will also link to. Um, the Bagapai assets is going to include thing like, things like trees and plants and other things like that. Um, so just a great collection of tools. Um, he's working on integration with Scatter5, which I mentioned a little bit in my video yesterday. Um, when Once that integration with Scatter5 works, then you'll actually be able to scatter these assets um, as a part of scatter itself. So you could use that tool in order to scatter these. But either way, highly recommend downloading Bagapai, at least the free version. Everyone should have it. He's got all sorts of cool stuff in here. So things like these different fences, um, all of his parametric assets are in here. And then once you bring these parametric assets in, you can go into your modifiers and you can adjust things like your base height or your base width or other things like that. I think there may actually be a way to get these to go along a curve. Um, I can't really remember though. So when you install this, he's got all these different tools, right? For like lines and grids and arrays and other things like that. So he's got all sorts of different functions in here. Definitely download that modifier and give it a try because holy cow it's a great value and um, even if you just want to support him um, it could be a great way to do that by purchasing that asset library but again remember that all of these things are going to be adjustable right so um, they're built on geometry nodes so you don't have to worry about the menu going away in the f9 key um, they're just in here and they're ready to go so again i could not recommend bagapai anymore um, at least pick up the modifier if nothing else um, it's definitely a tool that's worth having so i underestimated the amount of time that would go into creating a multi add-on video like this so it's something that's still in progress but leave a comment down below let me know if you like these videos where i keep you up to date on what's been up I just love having that conversation with you guys. Remember that Blender Market Summer Sale is going on through next Monday. So this is a great time to take a look at some of the add-ons that you're interested in. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. And I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.